So best browser for Android TV and Amazon Fire devices needs to have five things. Firstly, the ability to download. So you should be able to download applications, files, images through the browser. Secondly, we need to have the ability to block adverts. Nobody wants to see adverts when they're browsing. Thirdly, we need to have the ability to use your remote control. So nobody wants to plug in a, a USB mouse or nobody wants to use a Bluetooth mouse. We should be able to control the entire browser window through your standard remote control. Number four, we should be able to watch streaming websites, official websites, third party websites. The browser must allow us to play video based websites like you can see in the background. And lastly, it needs to be available both for your Android TVs and Amazon devices, even if you have to sideload it. Well, the browser I'm going to show you today ticks all of those boxes, has some even more great features. And once you follow the process in this video, you can also decide if this really is the best browser for all Android TVs and Amazon Fire devices. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing my demonstration on the on 4K Pro box, which I've reviewed before, but you can follow this process on any other Android TV device, as well as your Amazon Fire TVs, Fire TV Cubes and Fire TV Sticks. Now the browser in question is called Geosphere. And this I believe was previously called GeoPages, but the company has gone through a rebranding for this application, added in lots of great features, and of course the browser is 100% free. Let's open that up. Now when you start the browser for the first time, it will ask you whether you want to use standard mode, which is a default browsing mode. You can also go for a study mode where it then hides some of those elements on the home screen. And you also have a incognito mode for those private browsing sessions. Let's go with the standard one. So the first thing we mentioned at the start is we should be able to browse through to any website without using any kind of virtual mouse or any kind of external or Bluetooth mouse. If I just click on yes here, let's say for example, I want to browse to Amazon. I can click on the top. I can now use my voice and just say Amazon. That then does a Google search for me. You can see I can now navigate through the web page. I'm just using the standard D-pad here. I can move around. I can click on things. And I can, for example, select this page here. And you can see guys, without using any Bluetooth mouse or any external mouse, we can see that's working absolutely fine. I can scroll through here. I can click on things. Uh, let's have a look at this beer trimmer and that's working fine. So browsing using the standard remote control works absolutely fine. Next up, downloading. So let's say for example, I want to go to my website. I can click on the three dots on the top right. I can set the option for bookmarks. Let's choose a bookmark here. So here, for example, is my tutorials page. Let's click on that. And I will show you how to add bookmarks. It's very, very easy. All you need to do is open up any web page, go to the top here and where you have the star, you can then add a bookmark. We can see on mine, it says remove bookmark because I previously added that in. So let's say, for example, I want to download something. So uh, let's click on this link here. Works absolutely fine. And you will notice that normally there are some Google adverts on my website, but as this browser has built in ad blocking, which in fact you can see at the top here, on the top right, we can see it has blocked 10 adverts so far in my browsing session. So if you're looking for a browser with a built-in ad blocking, this one definitely ticks that box. And as we know with all of my tutorial pages, keep scrolling down. We have the step-by-step -step instructions and underneath all of that, we should have a single link to download the latest version of this application. Here we are. So let's go for Xbox app for Android TV devices. Let's click on that. Scroll down again, and we can now click on the green download button. And this, for example, would not work on Firefox for Android TV because even though Firefox is a great browser, unfortunately they have limited it on certain platforms where it just doesn't have the ability to download content through that browser. But with Geosphere, as we can see here, one click, Okay, it's telling me that the file is harmful because it's an APK, but that's fine. I can click on download anyway. One click or second click, and it says the file is now downloaded. I can now click on open. 
uh, we can see here, just like all standard Android applications, you do have to grant the permission to install applications through it. So if I go over to the settings, I can find Geosphere in the list. And I can now just give that permission. And here we can see, for example, downloader was already allowed. Let's go back. And we can see now if I try to download that again, it even tells you I do want to download that again because actually the file has already been downloaded. So I don't need to download it again. I can go to my downloads. Let's go back to the top. Let's click on the three dots. And let's now click on downloads. And this will show you all of the applications you've already downloaded. And here we can see here is the Xbox Game Pass for Android TV. I can click on that. We can see it's an update. I can click on update. And now we can see we are able to download applications and install them using the Geosphere browser. So we've confirmed no virtual mouse is needed. We can use the remote control. We've confirmed ad blocking is built in. And thirdly, we've now confirmed that you can actually download and install applications through this browser. And it's working absolutely fine. Let's click on done. Next up, we have the ability to access streaming content. So let's search for Tubi TV. That's now available in the UK as well as, of course, USA. I can click on that. We are taken straight to the web page. And can we actually stream content directly through the browser? So I can see different content. Uh, let's just try this one here. Click on that. Give that a second. And that starts streaming straight away. That's working absolutely fine. I even have the option to make that into a full screen. Let's back out of that. And of course, for the people that like to use third party uh, streaming websites, which give access to um, other content, I'll actually load up one of those pages now. And I did let this stream play for about 25, 30 minutes before, and it played absolutely fine. And we can see it a couple of seconds once that loads up. That's working absolutely fine. So if you are somebody that likes watching these other streams on these other websites, all of that works absolutely fine whilst using Geosphere. And that's working great. Okay, so how to get this browser on all of your devices? Well, let's press the home key. And the quickest way to get this browser is to just navigate to my website. So I can now go over to Downloader. And we can now type in techdoctoruk.com. Or you can always use this short code, which is 53402. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines, click on that, click on tutorials. And the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this new browser for all of your devices. Let's click on that. Here we are. So best browser for Android TV and Fire TV devices. Let's scroll down. Here are the step-by-step -step instructions. Keep scrolling down. Underneath all of that, you should now see two links. Here we have the latest version of Geosphere, which is the first link. But also what I would say is a very close second or depending on your particular use case, you may actually find TV Bro to be a better alternative. So for that, I've actually linked both of them here. So you can try both of them out. Both of them work absolutely fine on your Android TV devices and Fire TV devices. You can give them a go and just see which one works the best for you. So in this example, if I want the first one, Geosphere, I can click on that, scroll down, and you want to click on the green download button here. And this will download the latest version onto your device. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you are asking for the best browser for your streaming devices, particularly the people that like to stream certain content from certain websites. I do believe both these browsers will allow you to access and enjoy all of that content. So I really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.